going to start this morning with Carol Rothman, mm -hmm. who is on the member coordinating committee of 1,000 Grandmothers for Future Generations. Thank you, Carol. Good morning. 1,000 Grandmothers for Future Generations started back in 2016, working in solidarity with Native grandmothers in the Standing Rock struggle to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. Next slide, please. We organized a fundraiser and film, next slide, showing for our Lakota grandmothers on the Cheyenne River Reservation in South Dakota. We've continued to work in close partnership with indigenous organizations such as Idle No More Bay Area, next. We don't use a biological grand definition of grandmothers, but we apply it to all elder women who are passionate about leaving a more livable planet for all of the children and coming generations. We also welcome allies of all genders to our actions and meetings. Next slide, next two slides, please. We have marched, we've rallied, We've joined coalitions with others. And here we are at the Solano Stroll where I might say we won an award for our art. Next three slides, please. We reach out to support youth leadership. The Youth of Extinction Rebellion and Sunrise took off a day from school in these slides to demand that Chevron stop poisoning their futures. In addition to standing alongside them, we made hundreds of sandwiches for them. Next slide. Because we understand that the issues of climate change cannot be separated from justice, we respond where we are needed. We headed into the streets even in the pandemic. Next slide, please, to safely paint the streets in downtown Oakland to stop our democracy from being stolen. To do this long banner in the street, we worked with eight other organizations. Next slide. We've come out for immigrant justice. Next slide. You've probably noticed all the colors and vibrancy of our banners and our umbrellas. Art is really important to us. We have many women who put their art talents to work to bring beauty, hope, and inspiration to all that we do. We also enjoy singing together at all of our events. Next slide. Some of us engage in nonviolent direct action and some of us risk arrest. Here we are blocking the entrances of the Army Corps of Engineers to stop more pipeline. Next slide. There are many roles in the nonviolent direct action group for those who cannot or do not want to risk arrest. Here we are at one of our trainings, working with the fearless grandmothers from Idle No More. We have several trainings coming up in the coming months that some of you might want to participate in. Next three slides, please. There are many ways to be involved. Recently, we organized a tremendous turnout in the last couple of years to stop the dredging of the San Francisco Bay, which would have meant large tankers coming through the bay that could bring filthy tar sands to be refined at Phillips Refinery in Rodeo. Sometimes we win. We've been part of the Protect the Bay Coalition. And together, after several years of bringing pressure and opposition, we've succeeded in stopping the dredging project from going forward. This means no tar sands in the Bay. Next slide. Of course, the pandemic has changed everything. And we've had to think about what it means to be elder activists in the movement. We've done a lot of electoral work, writing thousands and thousands of postcards and making hundreds of phone calls during the election. We have a legislative group that has been working with other groups to focus on needed California legislation. And we've started studying groups to learn together about the intersection of race and climate. Next slide, please. Most recently, we've worked on stop line three, a pipeline being routed through Ojibwe territory in Minnesota through their wild rice wetlands. If completed, it would emit the equivalent of 50 coal plants a day. 
We raised $15,000 for supplies for the water protectors who are camping out in the frigid temperatures of Northern Minnesota to stop the drilling beneath the Mississippi River. One of our grandmothers just left this morning to join them for a week and is bringing needed supplies and using her training to act as a medic. Next four slides. We've made banners, which then got used for a banner drop we did over Interstate 80, responding to the call to increase awareness and support Stop Line 3, something we need to push Biden to do as soon as possible. He started, stopped Keystone, now we need to get him to Stop Line 3. We've helped to organize a multiracial, multigenerational street mural painting in front of the Oakland Federal Building, where different groups created their own circles. Here is ours, next slide. If you wanna work with elder women, activist women for climate justice, Thousand Grandmothers is the place for you. Next slide. You can sign up on our email lists. Next slide. If you go to our website, which is here, it tells you how to sign up. You also can take a look at our Facebook and follow our Facebook page if you do Facebook. We look forward to working with you. Thank you very much.